It's been a while since we looked at the container gardens. We started off in this little container. Here where we're going to add our lettuce. We got a nice mix of lettuce seeds. You can see the different kinds, different colors. I'm going to scatter these liberally across the top because these also transplant very well. So size does matter. This was all lettuce. Now we broke that apart and we put it in a bigger container. After six weeks, I told you we would have to do something with this. Let's take a look at a couple of our options. Now we've been thinning this out a little bit and putting one, two, three, four into this container. This is gonna get quite a bit bigger. Or we can do what I'm gonna do here and I'm gonna remove the entire batch. Look at that. You look at the roots on that. This is good and moist from last night's rain. Lettuce doesn't mind growing kind of together. So I'm gonna make about four holes in here. And we're gonna split this. I'm just gonna break it right in half. Look at all those roots. Look at that. We've been eating off of this quite a bit. And it took a little while for our tomato to take off. And we got a little piece of lettuce still in here. And it's doing well. But with this size of container, we've kept this from getting really big. We'll go out and look at the big container garden. This tomato was planted the same time as the one in the small container. Actually, they were side by side. We took that out, we put it in here, and we put some of that lettuce in here also. But now that this has some size to it, and we've got some flowers, let's go ahead and clean this up. This is exactly what we do with the tomatoes out in the garden. We've got this sucker coming out right where the leaf and the stem come together. And this tomato, I'm going to go ahead and take this sucker out. Take this leaf off. we got cherry tomatoes coming on there, there, and there. I'm going to go ahead and take this sucker out. And I'm going to take this leaf off also. And we want the plant to put its effort into making fruit. Now it's getting big enough. We're going to go ahead and start staking this. So I've got a little bamboo stake. I'm just going to slide that down in. And then we got our little lettuce there. That's kind of fun. It ought to be making tomatoes here directly. What do you have growing in your containers? When it comes to container gardening, size does matter. You can control the size of the plant. It doesn't really affect the fruiting. This pepper's got three nice peppers on it. A really nice benefit to having a container garden like this is if the weather does turn bad and you have hail coming, you can always bring it inside, protect it, and then bring it right back outside. The coneflower and the fever few are doing very well in the containers. And container size does matter. Look at this horseradish. It would take over the garden, but I've got more horseradish than I can eat. Containers are a great way to grow food if you don't have a lot of space. You can do this too. And until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.